Welcome aboard for an all-new big world adventure! Let's visit different countries, make new friends together and learn about other cultures! Race with other trains, create your very own train set or build it with a blueprint! In Thomas and Friends Adventures, the world is just a train ride away! Tap this location to start a new adventure! Welcome to China! Tap on the activity to get started! Hello! Have you ever seen a dragon? When I was in China, I saw one! You don't believe me? Play and see for yourself! Let's discover this new place together! Thomas was in China with his friend Yong Bao, enjoying the wonders of the Spring Festival. All the while, I had been looking for him. There were lanterns everywhere for the New Year celebrations. It was so beautiful. It was also quite noisy. Yong Bao was trying to tell me what he enjoyed most about the festival, but all I heard was, you will carry the dragon. Wait, did he say... The dragon? What dragon? Three, two, one, go! Use these parts to build a train set. Place them on highlighted spaces. Use these parts to build a train set. Place them on highlighted spaces. Drag a train to the track. Fantastic! Now let's see how fun this track is to ride! Tap on the bouncing train button and hold on tight. Jump. Let's ride. Oh, bother. Congee is a very common breakfast dish in China. Congee is a kind of soup. Young Bao was so excited that his friend was with him that he went a little too fast for Thomas. Let's race! Three, two, one, go! Hold the big train button to go! Tap the boost button to zoom ahead! <laughs> Splendid! <laughs> Cinders and ashes! <laughs> You've won a Rainbow Mountain! I was a little embarrassed to tell Yong Bao that I didn't hear what he had said. But he repeated it anyway, and it was clear. As a guest, I was going to carry the dragon. You are right on time. Have you seen this tank engine? I was frightened. Dragons breathe smoke and fire. And they are pretty scary. But 
for young Bao, carrying the dragon was quite an honour, and he was happy to share it with you, Thomas. Three, two, one, go! Trace the white track with your finger. Now you can create the train set that you want. Each track you build will help fill the meter. It's now time to have fun with your new special track piece. Let's add this one here. You can erase the track with this button. Fill the meter to complete the activity and get an exciting new prize. Well done! I was quite worried about carrying the dragon. Play with all your new track parts and decorations in the free build activity as often as you wish. It must be fun to ride on this. What a great construction! This railway is useful and fun. Dragon. Me? A dragon? Oh, a talking chicken! Thomas! Wait! <coughs> you get a fish fountain! Thomas met Hong Mei, she told him that he was lucky to carry the dragon. She told him it would be big and noisy. Thomas felt even more scared. So I told Yong Bao that I didn't want to carry the dragon. He was surprised, but he agreed to take it instead. I felt relieved, but... Let's race! Three, two, one, go! We can do this! Tap 
the boost button to zoom ahead! Let's go! It's a lion puppet! But then, Thomas heard young Bao say that he would be taking the lion instead. A lion? Oh no! I decided that if I arrived at the station first and filled my coaches with people, I wouldn't have room for the lion. I was so excited! The New Year party was amazing! Until I remembered the lion. I had to tell Yong Bao that I didn't have it. Oh, yes you did, Thomas. Everyone laughed. See, Thomas had brought the lion on board. It was just not a real lion. It was a puppet. Three, two, one, go! Well done! And you should have seen my face when I saw the dragon. It wasn't a real one. Just another giant <laughs> puppet. In the end, there was nothing scary okay. at all about the New Year's celebrations. How did you learn something new? Xin Yen Kuai Le. It means Happy New Year. Ouch! <laughs> Let's ride! I learned that sometimes when I get scared, I imagine all sorts of things. Just like when I thought I was going to see a real scary dragon. But it turned out to be something fun. It was just people dancing and carrying a big puppet dragon. And I loved it! So next time you get scared, talk to someone. And maybe you'll realise it's not that scary after all. Wow! Let's ride the rails to discover the wonders of China! India
friend. A mysterious palace exists in India. Play with me to meet a bunch of mischievous monkeys who live there. The most exciting part is to ride. It was a hot day on the Indian Railway, and Charabala, the Indian Railway controller, asked me to bring back coconuts for the vendor at the station. Coconut water is a great way to quench one's thirst. Three, two, one, go! A fun ride! That's wonderful! Ready to move on! It's a pile of coconuts! <laughs> India is the seventh largest country in the world. It's very beautiful and is full of surprises and wonders. On the way, I got curious about a strange sign that I saw, and Rajiv warned me about a palace and mischievous monkeys who live there. So, Thomas raced after Rajiv to learn more about the monkeys. Let's race! Three, two, one, go! Here goes Thomas!
monkey. The Monkey Palace. That's what was on that sign. A mysterious place I wanted to visit so badly. You are right on time. I really wanted to see that monkey palace. And if I hurried, I could still take the coconuts to Charabala. Three, two, one, go! Use these parts to build a train set. Place them on highlighted spaces. Use these parts to build a train set. Place them on highlighted spaces. This railway is useful and fun. Use these parts to build a train set. Place them on highlighted spaces. Well done! <laughs> you won a monkey musician! There were monkeys everywhere! <laughs> oh, hello, little monkey! Oh! <laughs> hello! Oh, hello to you too! <laughs> oh, and <laughs> hello! I didn't know what Rajiv was so worried about! Those were some of the nicest monkeys I'd ever met! But Thomas was distracted and still making up his own <laughs> fantasy monkey palace! <laughs> was back from the palace, still on time for my delivery. However, when I met Ashima, she told me my cargo was empty. Where had my coconuts gone? Oh, they must have bounced out of the cargo trucks. Ashima reminded me how long the Indian Railway was. The coconuts could be anywhere. Thomas raced back as fast as he could. Let's race! Three, two, one, go!
Coconut Archway! On my way, I saw a little monkey far from the palace. What was he doing there? As he was gesturing towards me, I understood that he was lost. You had accidentally carried him for a while, but left without noticing. Of course, you helped him back to his home. Let's ride! After taking the lost monkey back to its home, the monkeys helped me reload my empty trucks with new coconuts. I just needed to get back to the station and no monkeying around this time. <laughs> Thomas! Wait! It's a monkey palace! was relieved to be able to bring the coconuts back to Charabala. People were waiting for me and my coaches were full of coconuts. Although I shouldn't have visited it, that monkey palace was amazing. I kept dreaming about it. I could have become Thomas, king of the monkey palace. Three, two, one, go! It looks great! It must be fun to ride on this! Oh, wow! Oh, nice! Try to put other engines on your own railway. I'm sure they would love it. Not paying attention can lead to unwanted mistakes. ride to discover the wonders of India. It is so festive around here. Fireworks.
India. Did you know that you can replay all of these activities? I've told a silly story or two here on Sodor, but once I twisted the truth so much that I got into big trouble in Australia. This is a true story, and that's no lie. What a marvellous place! I was working in the Australian Outback, pulling goods trains. I heard my friend Shane shouting in a funny voice. Three, two, one, go! How useful will this be? Crocodiles. Shane is a tour guide in the Australian Outback. I travelled with him on his guided tour once and it was a fun thing. Shane had a funny way of explaining things. He introduced <laughs> himself as Shane the Plane, told a story about a crocodile hitching a lift and presented luxury apartments for termites. The passengers were laughing along. Let's ride! Shane always liked to joke with Thomas. He quickly pulled ahead of him, saying, Good day, Tomo! Tomo? That's not my name! How silly! I had to race to catch up to him! Let's race! Three, two, one, go! Faster! Splendid! Tap the boost button to zoom ahead! Tank engine coming through! Right on time! Some jumping kangaroos! All aboard!
One day, I showed up at Pine Tree Station. Shane wasn't anywhere to be found. Passengers for the tour were wondering where the tour train was. And of course, Thomas thought it might be fun to step in for Shane. I was sure I could be just like Shane and help the passengers have a great time. I started to make up stories and got caught up in my own imaginary stories. Three, two, one, go! Oh, wow! Well done! You win a rickety bridge! Welcome to the Outback! A, um, wild, dirty land full of, uh, mysterious, <laughs> weird things and funny-looking animals! <laughs> Thomas was making it up as he went along <laughs> and he couldn't hear Aubrey as she was trying to warn him about the crossover. We have these giant <laughs> kanga rabbits and millions of crocodiles and... These here are luxury mansions for, um, ladybugs. Then, sidetracked by his stories, Thomas saw an engine passing by and rushed to catch up, thinking it was Shane. But... It was Tamika! Let's race! Three, two, one, go! Faster than the speed of light! Thomas had drifted onto the wrong track and it was too late to back up. You're right on time! Aubrey told me I was on the wrong track. I should have listened to her. But instead, I was caught up in my imagination. I kept on going. And we've got a big red bus, driven by the Queen of Australia. Three, two, one, go! It looks great! Wonderful! It must be fun to ride on this!
copying. Really useful. A waterfall! Thomas was too distracted to notice the broken bridge ahead. I got stuck on the bridge. I couldn't move. I didn't know what I was going to do. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> These decorations would look fantastic on your railway. Try them in the free build. What did you do, Thomas? You're causing confusion and delay. But, sir, I just wanted to be a cool tour guide. What now, Tomo? Got yourself in trouble? <laughs> When I woke up, there weren't any crocodiles or a surfing back controller, but I was still stuck on that bridge. But then... It was Shane taking us back to safety. Isla the plane had flown by and warned Shane about our situation. <laughs> Let's ride! I guess there's a difference between making up jokes and making up facts. I was wrong to say such silly things about Australia. Australia is a country full of natural wonders, such as the Red Centre and Kakadu National Park. It's also home to many unique animals, like crocodiles, termites, koalas and kangaroos. Have you ever told a tall tale or said something that wasn't exactly true? I've made things up a few times. From now on, if I make something up, I'll make sure everyone knows it's not real. It's just a silly joke. <laughs> Let's ride along to discover the splendours of the Australian Outback. Watch for the fireworks on the Look way. Look at those fireworks.